Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to calculate the sample variance. I'm going to show you three ways, uh, a hard way, an easy way and a very easy way. For my demonstration I'm going to show you how to do it for these uh, list of six numbers here. Okay, first way. Here is the formula for the sample variance. Now let's just look at what this notation means. This here stands for summation, add up. XI is a, stands for the individual observations where I is a counter from 1 to N. So the XI is just labels of the numbers. So I could call this X1 this could be x2, x3 and so on. It doesn't matter how we label these numbers so long as each one of them is only labeled once. This is read as x bar and x bar denotes the sample mean. Finally, we've got n, which appears here and here. n denotes the number of observations. Here, we have got n is 6, because we've got 6 numbers. So first we have to calculate the sample mean, x bar. Well, x bar, the definition is that add up all the numbers and divide by the num number of numbers we've added up. So we've got these numbers divided by numbers we've added up, uh, numbers of observations, which is 6. And uh, what do we get? We get 328 in the numerator, denominator. Sorry, it's not that. We get 40 over 6, which is equal to 6.66 reoccurring. OK, to use the formula, it's easiest to see it as a table. So we've got the uh, data running down here. Next we've got to complete these two columns. xi minus x bar, that's saying for each observation subtract the sample mean. So when xi is 2, we've got xi is 2 minus x bar which was 6.66 reoccurring. Next one that is 5, so it'll be 5 minus 6.66 recurring, and so on, till I've completed this column. Next, for the third column, I need to take each of these entries here and square. So this one will be 2, point, 2 minus 6.66 recurring, all squared. I get 21.77. Okay, and if I do it for each of these uh, cells, I will get these numbers, which, uh, well, you check it, I hope they're right. Finally, totting up these numbers in the column, we get about 61.435. Okay, so we've got everything necessary now to compute this sample variance. We need this number. So here is the formula again. What we've just calculated is the numerator. So that is 61.435 divided by n minus 1, that is 6 minus. I'm going to find that is 12.287. If we want, we can also get the standard deviation. Recall that the standard deviation is the positive value of the square root of the variance. So here we have square root of 12.287, it's approximately 3.51. Right, let's move on to the second way. The second way is to apply this formula which is equivalent to the one we've just applied. Okay, now this reads sum of, take each value and square it. So what we have is 
first number squared plus second number squared plus third number squared all the way to the plus sixth number squared it, that equals or if you add them up to 3 2 8 that gives us the sum of xi squared now the sample mean we've already calculated it's 6.66 recurring so entering these into the formula there we have this note this term here is x bar squared so we square the mean sample mean Okay, entering the numbers into the formula, in the numerator we're going to have 61.3387, the bottom part is 5, so we the answer for the sample variance is 12.267. And the standard deviation will be 3.50. Now having done that, which do you think is a better, a quicker method? this first way or the second way well I think you can see that this second way is much neater it's much you can do the calculation much faster and also the other thing is that notice since we've got fewer calculations we've got like uh, fewer decimal places um, figures with decimal places some of the xi squared no decimals here we have just the de using the first way notice that we've got decimals coming in one for every line here now every time we're using a decimal we're kind of approximating so if we have more and more decimals w work with more and more decimals then um, the errors will add up for those reasons I suggest that you use this second method now finally I'm going to show you how to calculate the sample variance using your calculator okay hi again everyone so uh, right, I'm not great with technology so you have to pardon me if this doesn't look great alright so here I have a standard calculator it's a Casio scientific calculator uh, these calculators can do statistics now to do statistics we go to the setup mode so on this calculator shift setup No, sorry, that's wrong. We press mode simply, okay, um, and then I want the stat mode, so I press two. Now here's a menu here. Uh, we want the first one. This stands for one variable. We're doing a one variable analysis. Okay, the data window opens, and this is where we enter our data. So the first observation is two, so I press two, and then I press equal. Let's zoom out so you can see what I'm doing. Then I press equal to enter it. So you can see two has now appeared. And I do the same with the other one. So next is five equals five equals seven equals nine equals twelve equals. So zoom back in. So there you are. I can use the up arrows here to move around the table. There you go. Now, once the data is entered, I press AC. And now um, I can get the calculator to do the work. So, calling up the stat button, I press Shift. And then here, 1, see where it says stat. So, if I press 1, it goes into the stat mode. Now, I'm faced with another menu. I want the results here a 5 for variable press 5 okay and uh, what we have now is a choice we have we can uh, obtain the number of observations n we can have x bar uh, this here is the um, variance but instead of dividing by n they divide by sorry instead of divide by n minus 1 they divide by n 
which is not our case. Our case is this one where we divide by n minus 1. Okay. The distinction really is that this one is for the population variance and this one is for the sample variance. Okay, well we want um, let's say x bar which we know the answer to be 6.66 reoccurring. We then press 2 on the calculator and then press equal. There you go. Fantastic. Then to get more answers I press AC and go back into the stat so shift and 1 and then 5 uh, now I want the answer 4 now we know the answer of the standard deviation this is the standard deviation here um, to be 3.5 uh, I just want to pause a minute here uh, I just want to be clear that this thing stands for the population standard deviation and this option 4 stands for the sample standard deviation I'm not sure whether I said variance earlier on if I did that was wrong okay so we want option 4 that's the standard deviation uh, for the uh, sample standard deviation so I press 4 and equal wow 3.5 and if you want the variance for this one you would square this answer now this is a good way to just uh, if you've got time to check your answer but uh, in your homework or an exam you're expected to show working right so um, we can do that press AC shift 1 Okay, we did a whole load of summations. Um, if we use option for look, notice that we have we can get sum of x i square or sum of x. Okay. And that so these quantities would be this quantity here, sum of x, that would be useful to calculate the sample mean, and this one will be useful in the second formula for the sample variance. Great, so that's it. I really hope that's helped you. Um, I'm Phil, and this has been statisticsmentor.com.